Megan Thee Stallion released her latest single, Cobra, and Cobra is a spiritual embodiment of transformation. And I love the Cobra. I love what it represents because it's all about shedding old skin. So let's get into the lyrics. It says, breaking down and I had the whole world watching, but the worst part is really who watched me. Every night I cried, I almost died and nobody close tried to stop me. The part that I wanna highlight is the worst part is really who watched me. Either the people closest to her weren't really seeing her and how down and depressed she really was, or she could be referring to her ex party who watched her every night cry, or it could be her overall team. She also talks about how she thought about taking her own life and that she was drinking heavily during this time to cope with everything that she was going through. Then in the second verse, she goes, hey, damn, I got problems. Never thought I'd be like me, whatever hit rock bottom. Man, I miss my parents, way too anxious, always canceled my plans, pulled up, caught him cheating, getting his D sucked in the same spot I'm sleeping. A lot of people are speculating and they're saying that she is referring to party once again in this song. And then also she goes in to say, how long you been worried about me telling people that's not me? I don't know if people were coming to party telling him things and he would respond by saying, oh, that's not her. Honestly, it kind of feel like you plotting, watching, why is you speaking on me at my lowest when you act like you ain't noticed. And so I think, again, people are speculating, thinking that she is referring to party about everything that he heard in the courtroom when the trial was going on. So I wanted to take it back during the time of the trial when everything was going on and I'm going to get into why. During this time I spoke about this situation and I was dragged because at this time if you said anything that was not favorable of Megan people automatically put you against her and that's not true. Like you could have just been speaking and giving your opinion on the situation based off of the information and the things that were going on during this time. So I wanted to take it back because it proved what I said originally. And even the blog here, it says she and her homegirl lay down with a number of notable men, including Tory Lanez. I am not shaming her, but she noted in court that her partner was embarrassed about her sexual past being with such big names. Let's get into what she actually said. She said, I'm embarrassed because I'm a grown woman hanging with people I have no business hanging out with. Now look at how everybody want to view me. How could I share my body with someone who would shoot me? Now every week there's an article calling me a hoe. Then she also admitted that she lied about having a sexual relationship with Tori and also admitted that her relationship with Party has suffered. I feel disgusted. I feel dirty. My own partner is embarrassed. Megan said of Party's vibe, after hearing about her sexual history during the trial. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because when I originally spoke on this, I got dragged and bashed for speaking on real shit. I spoke on it and I got bashed for it because it didn't make Megan look the best, but it was still real. And so as you can see, this man could not handle the things that he was hearing about her in court. So it's not shocking that he allegedly cheated on her. We can actually learn a lot from this situation. First and foremost, Megan didn't deserve what happened to her. She didn't even deserve to be cheated on after the fact because Party could have been a grown ass man about it and could have been like, you know what? I can't handle this. I can't handle this and still be with you. So I'm going to respectfully bow out. But instead, he took the cowardly way out and he cheated on her in her own bed. I don't agree with that. And it's interesting because I have to be real with you. Men can dish it, but they cannot take it. There are plenty of men that are out here running around being community D's for the community. No one is shaming them or judging them for it. But when it comes to being like community anything, especially when it comes to sex, it does, it gets messy and it is filled with drama, which is why I tend not to associate myself with people that are like that, male or female, because it does. It just gets really, really messy quick. Another thing that I want to point out is we're in this oversharing society now, like this trend to overshare all of your business on the internet. And when you're a woman, especially when you're a black woman, it will hurt you the most. I will use Brittany Renner as a prime example. She did a tell all book about her sex life, her sexual history. And as you can see, no one actually takes her serious. And that's what happened was when Party went to court and he was hearing all of these things that Megan was doing or had done sexually. He learned all about her sexual history during that trial. He stopped taking her serious and he had lost a lot of respect for her, which is why he ended up cheating on her in her own bed. I'm going to be real with you. Men cannot handle 
learning about your sexual history, hearing your sexual history. They can't handle rejection. They can't handle you making more money than them or you being more successful in them. They can't handle those things. So you have to move accordingly and have higher standards. And if you feel like this entire situation is one-sided, because it is, it's a double standard, right? If you feel like it's one-sided, we'll balance the scales. A lot of women can take their power back by closing themselves off more, honestly. I just feel like we're too open. We give too much access to men, which is why they can carry themselves in this way. It's why they can have like this double standard mindset because we don't apply pressure where pressure needs to be applied. And so when it comes to situations like this, Megan did not deserve anything that happened to her, including being cheated on after the fact, after learning about her sexual history in court on trial, she still didn't deserve it because men, they do it all the time and no one says anything about it. But because the pressure is not applied to them in the same way, they can get away with it. So how do we correct this? How do we take our power back? Well, first of all, we start to limit our access to men overall, but then also we have the same standards that they have towards us. We apply it to them as well. That's how we do it. I understand probably during the trial was not the best time to talk about it or bring it up, but it was just me being honest and transparent during that time because at the end of the day, we've all gone through things. So it was never coming from a judgmental standpoint. It was coming from an awareness standpoint, an acknowledgement standpoint. And you know, one thing that I'm proud about when it comes to Megan Thee Stallion is she has transformed herself. That's why I like the song cobra and how she named it she titled it cobra because she did the work on herself she stopped drinking she changed the people that she hanged around she's focused on her fitness her health her mind and she just really leveled up and now she's in this phase of shedding old skin and she's coming out new again i'm just really here for this like i'm so excited for her and i hope that all women can take from what she did of overcoming the things that she had to overcome leveling up and improving her life overall it's beautiful to witness.